Good morning, folks. We've got a full deck today covering stories from right here to deep in the cosmos. We're going to begin, as always, at our star, finding the last 24 hours rotation on spaceweathernews.com. We find it has been a quiet day. The lumbering active region still has not produced any solar flares. The sunspots continue to lack the power to do so. Solar wind dropping out this morning as well, especially the plasma speed, leaving geomagnetic conditions heading into even calmer territory. This is expected to endure at least today, and we may have a bit before any coronal hole stream hits us again. Some of these look too high of latitude to affect our planet. So let's go to GOES. This is the day-night cloud distinction with lightning overlays. Sunset light glitch runs across the top, but it barely steals attention from what's happening below. This is a very lucky family shooting a mega twister out their back car window. Phenomenal even to capture this driving the other way. And indeed, most of you heard about the Texas tornado and the damage it caused, but what happened in Mississippi happened much later at night. Nobody got footage of this twister, but the damage is readily evident, and initial reports suggest that five are dead. Let's go ahead and we'll watch this one more time on GOES. This system is recharging now and will unleash again today, eyes open to the east and the north. We also saw wicked weather in the United Arab Emirates. The crown prince captured this shot of lightning pinging the world's tallest building, Excellent slow motion capture, your majesty. And one wishes it was just an aesthetic story, but the storms have unleashed quite the deluge on the region. Flooding continues and is slow to move on. Let's do the science, starting with lightning. It turns out that the moment of strike, the electron densities are much higher than they believed, creating higher temperatures than they believed, and in the fast drawdown within microseconds, surges much more current through the global electric circuit than they believed. Up next, a look back at a magnetic excursion event around 100,000 years ago, give or take, right around the time we had the previous 100,000 year drop into an ice age. What's notable about this event is it matches or exceeds intensity seen from more recent events like Last Champ, Mono Lake, and Lake Mungo. It may have sent us into the last long scale cold cycle. Folks, the paper I utilized for the Plasma Universe presentation at the conference in February has finally hit astronomy and astrophysics, and it's open source and free to read. This is what the national labs have been delivering to us for months, an electromagnetic active nucleus. The bottom row makes the torus and the jet very easy to see, but I want to focus more on the top row and change the color around. We're going to presume you are looking right down the cosmic jet in this image, directly from the north, otherwise they'd have the center be black with a torus ring around it. Now let's go look again at the radio wave only image of the active galactic nucleus or black hole from this past week's news. The main difference here is that you're not looking right down the jet. The cosmic jet of M87 does not point right at us, but off to the side slightly. And so let's compare what the Taurus jet model and the first image of a black hole look like. Remembering that one is polluted in the center by the jet and doesn't look black because you assume you're looking straight down it. And then the primary issue is that accretion disks should be diffuse and wide, while this ring is thick with a fast density drop off at the outer edge instead of a slow dispersion outward. That is a torus, not an accretion disk. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support over at otf.cells.com just today and tomorrow as an Easter gift for getting my wife's second children's book, Kira and Lulu Visit the Planets, will include a paperback copy of the first one, Kira and Lulu Visit the Sun, for free. The catch is that there's only 29 left of that second edition, so probably just today. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.50 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.